I got the Miller 211 all set up. Last time and the first time that I used it was to weld on the airplane. I had to put some brackets on there that were left off when they manufactured the fuselage. So I'd set this thing up with 23 thousandths wire and I rented a bottle of C25 that I used for that. Well, I just changed it over to some 35 thousandths wire. And then I've got my CO2 tank there. I've got a little bit of CO2 left in it, not very much, but I got enough to do this. So anyway, I've got that all set up. And then I set it up for auto weld, auto set. And it worked pretty good. Worked as good as I could weld, so I couldn't do any better on my own. I mean, well, I got this piece out here that I'm setting up for the extension on the porch. And I washed it down with some paint thinner, cleaned all the loose rust off of it. And I tried a pra couple practice welds on there. And they aren't too pretty, but I got the feel of it. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and give it a try. And I brought that angle piece over, one of the angle pieces over, and set it up on there and welded it on. And it went pretty good. Actually did better with that, and I knew I would, than I did with the Century uh, 130. But I got it welded all the way around. Now they're not all the prettiest welds that anybody could make but they're as good as I'm ever going to make. So anyway that pant piece is welded on. Now this one here is going to go on the farthest on the outside and so I welded that with that plate sticking off to that side and then this channel will go up on that rail. You see I got two feet it'll come back two feet and then it'll sit on that uh, rail that's already up there, the beam that's already up there, and then this face here will butt up against the face of the channel that's already on there, and I can weld along these edges on the top and the bottom and on the ends, and of course where the two meet here, but then I've also got these holes that I put in there that I'll make rosette welds in there on those. So that little welder is going to work pretty good. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go get some more CO2 before I weld outside on it there, but I can get these three set up like this with the end plates on them and stuff and get them ready to go. When my wife came home from work yesterday, she brought a package that had the belt in it for the sawmill. So I could be working on that and getting that fixed. I stuck my pickup in the shop in the front end and pulled the right front tire and wheel off of it to check it out and analyzed it saw that the ball joints are bad on it so I could be working on that but the weather kind of turned sour got cold and started snowing and we got four or five six inches of snow and I plowed that and it was too cold and wet to work outside so I come in here and started working in here in the basement uh, figuring I'd work on these porch extension beams on here a little bit I got my Miller 211 all set up and I set one of the beams up on there and put the end plate on it and got it welded up. I practiced some welds first and then I welded that on there and that went pretty well. So it's raining again today and nasty outside again today. I did get the pressure washer out and washed more of the mud off inside the fender and around that wheel on the truck so I don't get too much dirt in there on that when I'm working on it or on me when I'm working on it. I come up to the basement again and I've got set up now to fix up these other two extensions. Well, I've got one of them set up there on the welding table now. I've got it set up on some blocks so that I can kind of center that end plate on that one. That'll be the center for the floor joist there. So I'll go ahead and center that one on the timber and weld it up and then I'll do the other one. I've got to watch those and make sure because they get face of that or the flat part, the web of the channel iron gets welded up to the web of the channel iron on the beam that's already up there so I gotta make sure I keep the orientation proper on those so that one's set up right. The other one I can just go ahead and lay it flat because that'll be the end of the board and I want the bolts and stuff as far from the end of the timber as possible to keep it from splitting out. So here we go we'll get this thing welded up here and.
We've got kind of a bonus day today. Not only is it February 29th, which gives us a free day, but it turned out it was a nice, fairly nice day today. Forecast is for rain, of course, and wind, and typical southeast Alaska nasty. But it turned off that uh, it, it was actually pretty nice. This morning when I took the dogs for the walk, when we walked with them, it was actually almost sunshiny out. It warmed up. It froze hard last night, and then it warmed up today. It's back to overcast now, and it was sprinkling a few times. But I didn't try to get this in between sprinkles here. Been working on this porch project here off and on for the last year. I got new extensions for it. We decided to extend it out to 10 feet instead of 8 feet. And uh, the reason I did that is because I put that retaining wall down there for the basement. That goes out 12 feet. And if I run 8 feet and a 2 foot overhang, then the splash off of that porch is going to be right on that retaining wall and splash down into the basement, into the opening that we got into the the basement, the entryway there. So I decided to change it and make it a 10 foot porch instead with a two foot overhang. That'll make my splash zone just past the edge of that retaining wall. So anyway, I've already got these beams here cut and fitted in there for an eight foot floor. I've been working on making extensions for them. I've got those all set up, all welded up and everything and, and ready to go on there. And I was hoping I could get that done today, but I probably can't. But I've got these pads on the end of that, those L-shaped uh, angle brackets that I welded onto the end of the channel iron there for the timbers to butt up against and to be fastened down on. But they stick out on either side of the beam. They're wider than the inch and a half or two inches that the flanges on the channel iron is. And I want those new pieces to butt right up against them, to fit tight up against them and be welded in tight to them. I thought about getting the angle grinder out and just grinding those out. I got to looking at them this morning and they, there's just too much material hanging out there to practically grind those off with a grinder. I think I got the, uh, I'm going to cut those off with a torch. So I brought the cutting torch up. I've got, I don't know what, I've got 25 feet of, of uh, hose on the cutting torch. So I put it down in the entryway to the basement where it's covered up and I've sprung the hose out here. I'll go ahead and turn the gas on the oxygen on and get my torch set up. And I'm gonna just trim off those edges there so that those new pieces will fit in there tight. Like I said, I'll still need to do some grinding with the grinder to bevel those make a good uh, joint connection and stuff. Well, anyway, I'll get to work doing that. Well, there's what I did. See, you can see the little notch on there where that's cut out flush there. And those are all coated with, I don't know, at least three coats of paint. I had the Cora Seal rust conversion on there first, and then some XO Rust primer, and then XO Rust finish paint on top of that. So the smoke off of that was kind of nasty. Well, that paint's all blistered off of there now. That'll come off. Probably get all rusted up now before we get a chance to get it painted again. March comes in like a lion. Doesn't necessarily go out like a lamb in this country though. Yesterday we had a bonus day. Nice day. February 29th gives us an extra day, but it was wound up being sunny despite the weather forecaster's prognostication. I used the, that to my advantage yesterday and got out here and prepped up this porch framework to weld on those extensions on there. I got the pads all cut out and everything and all the paint ground off of it and it all prepped up for welding. I was hoping I would get a chance today to get out there and weld those on, but I was pretty sure I wouldn't. Got up this morning and it was snowing heavy and windy. Now it's turned off here to rain. We just came back from taking our morning walk with the dogs and out the road there, there's about three inches of wet, heavy snow on the highway. Where we took the dogs for a walk, it wasn't that bad. It was just a, a little bit of slushy crap on the road. And, that's what we got here. It's 
turned off to mixed rain, mostly rain right now, still a little bit of snow mixed in with it, but got about an inch of, of slush on the driveway here. So I, not much going to happen outside here today. I'm not going to get that done. And according to the forecast, it doesn't look like it'll be able to do anything for a few days there. I get this camera put back away before it gets soaking wet. Well, the day broke foggy but bright this morning. You could see the blue sky up above the fog. It didn't take very long for it to start clearing up. Picked up in just a few puffy clouds. Now it's cleared up to clear blue sky. We had a real nice walk with the dogs this morning. It was a little chilly. It's been blowing and raining and snowing the last few days. Lots of snow. If all the snow would have stuck, we'd have probably had four feet of snow on the ground here, but fortunately it was melting off as it touched. It didn't really build up any, except for the last little bit we had last night, and then the temperature dropped down to about 29 degrees, and the wet, sloppy snow that we had froze to the ground, so it was kind of some crunchy, icy, nasty stuff on the ground. Everything was really slippery, but that smelled it off now. It's warmed up, sun's come out, and it's warmed up pretty good. He said he had a good walk with the dogs this morning. I haven't got out and walked with him for a couple of days. Yesterday morning it was blowing about 30 or so. I didn't even feel comfortable being out there in the woods and the trees in the car, let alone walking, so we didn't walk. But this morning it was pretty nice, a little bit slippery. So anyway, I'm going to get two of this extensions on this porch. It's a perfect day for that. And this one was forecast and knew it was coming, so I was going to get ready for it. I got a little bit of wire brushing to do to get the rust off that's uh, built up on uh, that, that framework that's already there from the rain the last few days. And I got those extensions all polished up. They're ready to go. And I got the little Miller 211 out here with a fresh bottle of CO2. I'm going to try welding that with gas shield. It's a little breezier than I would like. I waited probably longer than I should have to come out here but the roof was all coated with ice and snow this morning and uh, if I had come out then I would have been working underneath the drip and I didn't really want to do that so I waited till it melted off now the breeze has picked up a little bit but I did use one of those machines up in Anchorage in a snowstorm outside with a gas shield and it worked pretty good so we'll see how it works here I got those three extensions welded on there. For the most part, I did pretty good. My uh, horizontal welds did pretty good. My vertical welds looked like crap, like somebody stuck bubble gum in there, or caulking in there or something. Surprisingly enough, my overhead weld underneath, those actually did pretty good. Well, anyway, that's all welded on there. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice again. I don't know whether it's going to be warm enough or not, but I might wire brush those down, get them cleaned up, and put some Coraseal on them anyway. 
it's getting dark now. It's uh, 530. The sun goes down at 530 now. It actually went behind the mountains here at about 20 minutes after 4. It was getting kind of tough seeing that stuff between the fogging up of the, my glasses and the fogging up of the welding helmet. And now it's getting dark. It was pretty fun there at the end anyway. But it worked out pretty good. The only things I didn't get done was the rosette welds on that farthest uh, beam there. And I just couldn't get in there. I had a heck of a time getting in on that anyway, but those I just couldn't get in on. So when I take the porch, the other porch roof off, maybe I can get in there and do them then. Crystal blue persuasion this morning. Clear blue sky, not a cloud in the sky, just as pretty as could be. If you looked, it just looked at the sky, you'd think you were in Phoenix or Tucson or Albuquerque or someplace. It was clear all night. In fact, it was so clear about four o'clock this morning we had a near full moon that comes shining right in the bedroom window and woke us up like somebody's shining a spotlight in there got a little chilly last night got down to oh below 20 degrees 18 or so froze pretty hard froze good enough that when i went for the walk with the dogs this morning i was able to walk on top of the snow still cold over here on this side of the house there's frost on the roof and it's going to come running down there pretty soon it's already run off of the cabin down there and uh, some of the other buildings where it's in the sunshine this was forecast yesterday and today were forecast to be nice days then it's supposed to turn off be like it was before with uh, temperatures in the mid 30s and uh, mixed rain and snow wouldn't have believed it early this morning because there wasn't a cloud in the sky but you can see clouds starting to come in from the north now i'm gonna get the wire brush out there today and clean those off i've got to get all that paint cleaned up de-rusted and then wait for the sun to hit it so that it dries out and then come out and paint it so i'll get them wire brushed first and then i'll go in and have breakfast and stuff and then uh then i'll come back out after after the rain quits coming off of the roof the the frost quits coming off of the roof on there and dry everything up and see if i can get it painted again of course sealed it's cold it's cool and it's not the exactly the right time to be painting but need to get that stuff protected from the rust i better get after it It's been a couple hours since I wire brushed that. I went in and had breakfast and sat down and read the news. So that sunshine's been out here, dried up the roof. But that's about as long as that's going to heat up. Another couple hours and the sun's going to be down over the hill and it's going to start getting cold again. So we got the core seal out. I'll go ahead and get that stuff painted up with a core seal and hopefully it'll have time to set up uh, enough to be kind of damp proof and stuff before it gets too cold. Okay, that's good. Got good coats on all of that. Got it covered all the way around. All the rust spots and everything are all the open spots where the paint came off from welding. And it's setting up. It's already started to turn black. Stuff goes on white and it turns blue-black as it makes a chemical change there as it uh, reacts with this steel. So that's looking good. Those will be protected. and Get enough sun on them for a little while to harden that stuff up and let it set up a little bit. Well, I'm done with that for a little while now. I've got the bandsaw blade set and sharpened up and ready to go. I have got the belt for the bandsaw, so I have to get it put on there. Maybe I'll do that now, but I'm not going to do any milling yet. It's going to take a while for that stuff to set up hard enough to put uh, boards on there. But I've got to get my truck fixed. I, I've been uh, derelict in that. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and leave this as it is and let that stuff set up. Then we'll get to working on my truck and get it fixed. I got that much done. Done anyway. I'm happy, happy, happy.